Hello YouTube, here is my review of these ZOP Power LiPo batteries. I have these in 8000 mAh configuration and they are 6S batteries. Internally they have two cells in parallel. Uh, the ZOP Power LiPo batteries are known for relabeling the C rating of their cells and as you can see this pack is labeled at 30C which obviously is not correct because these batteries cost around 60-65 dollars which is very little price for this huge battery and you cannot expect this to have 30C rating. Uh, but I was fine with that because in my application I will be uh, I'm using 1C constant rating and 3C rating at the max at, at, at the peaks so I was fine with the lower C rating however as it turned out these batteries have a lot more problems um, well I own three of these batteries the the first one arrived undamaged or with the, the first one is usable, so so I will get into that later. This is the second battery that arrived, and the huge problem with these batteries is the packaging. The Zop Power doesn't use any foam, any bubble wrap. It just uses cartoon box with th thin cartoon. So, and on top of that. The Banggood, they don't use extra packaging. They just put shipping label on the carton box, maybe tape over it, that's it. No foam, no bubble wrap. And that can be very dangerous. This battery weighs almost one kilogram. And if you're gonna, gonna ship it without any protection, as you can see, there is this huge dent. So this second battery, it arrived the packaging was torn, it was taped with the with the Slovakian post tape, so during the shipping it must have fell fell apart the packaging and they had to repackage it on the post itself. So the cells came damaged. The the I think the two cells were were uh, had the had low capacity have low voltage. So I had to uh, I had to discharge this battery and, and after discharging it, just to be sure, I soldered the connectors together and this battery will get, will be going out of my house, basically. Um, too dangerous to use it. I contacted Banggood support. They, after many, many emails, they didn't want to give me any refund or like 20 do They firstly gave me like coupons, then we will give you only $20 refund. I wasn't sat satisfied with that. We settled on $40 refund. That's $40 out of $65 order. So, at least something. I ordered th third battery. I told them on the support and on the live chat to use extra packaging for the battery. This battery, again, it arrived only in the carton box. Carton box was damaged, torn apart. It had dur it, it, During the shipping or during warehouse, it had to be torn apart. It was taped together. <laughs> uh, the dent on this battery is not as visible, but it's still dented. And it's the, the heat shrink is torn here. So it, 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 it had very rough ride during the shipping. And... Uh, this one is the most recent one right, that I ordered. It arrived like a week ago. And if I plug in the charger, it's it's sitting at... <laughs> you see these cells are heavily disbalanced. Only like two cells are at the normal voltage, storage voltage. All the cells, you know, 1.16. 1.95, 1.53, and this second cell is not even pick, picked up by this charger. So, <laughs> Oof, this battery is going 
out of my house very soon. I tried contacting uh, Banggood support twice. Both times they just sent me the generic message and they didn't reply me. They, they didn't give me any solution, any refund for this battery. Not even the coupons, you know. This battery, $40 refund. This battery, nothing. It arrived faulty. Despite I told them to package it well, they didn't package it. It arrived faulty. Zero refund. Anyway, as I said, the one battery arrived fine. The one battery arrived fine. Or, like, it was slightly bent. But it seemed to be performing kinda okay-ish. I'm using it on my electric skateboard. I 3D printed this enclosure out of PETA-G. It has performing inside. If you are interested in this, the link is in the description. I model it and upload it on the Thingiverse. Anyway, so here's the battery just for the reference. Uh, how does it perform? One thing I'm happy to say that the 8000 mAh is the correct capacity. When I discharge it to 3.0 volts per cell and charge it back, the charger reports the maximum I had was 7200 million hours so if you would do some deep deep charge cycle i think you could get into this capacity so the capacity is right but it has two problems firstly the c rating um most of the time or in average i'm pulling out only like six amps out of this battery on this keyboard and in peaks i have I have set it to 24 amps. That that's that's the limit on the v, on the ESC. So I'm not pulling more than 3C out of this pack. However, I I feel like it's sagging. It's sagging a lot. Even even on this low C rating, it's sagging. I I can feel it. It perform okay for the first five minutes, but after that, I can feel the sagging. The C rating is low, but I was expecting that, however, I didn't expect it to be this low, you know. But uh, that's not the only problem. The second problem, the big, biggest problem uh, with this battery, it's for some of the reason it's self-discharging quite a lot. I never had LiPo battery that was that would self-discharge at this pace. I, I, I storage charged it and left it sitting for the two weeks. I came back, the cells were heavily, the cells were heavily unbalanced. Some of these cells were sitting at 3.0 volts, some of them were at 3.4 volts, heavily disbalanced. I have this, ISDT Q6 charger. Uh, the balancer is not the fastest, so however as a charger it's quite a great charger. It took around four hours to balance this battery, which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous and I cannot imagine that to store it during winter when when there is not season to be for riding and like every two weeks to balance it that's that's just not convenient for me and um and it's very fishy about this battery so i'm i will i will use it for few more weeks or months and after that once the winter comes i will discharge it get rid of this it's there are, there are a lot of uh, there are just a lot of red flags about this battery and I I hoped the battery will be okay but it's not it's not 
Again, just to sum it up, it's budget battery for 60, 60, 65 dollars. But I had three problems with it. Firstly, it's the shipping problem, which could be actually the shipping problem could be solved by Banggood easily. That's one. Of, that that's huge problem. You know, I lost lost two batteries to the shipping. But even if the shipping is fixed, you know, I, this battery still has a two problems: the, the low C rating, the the ultra low C rating, and and. And yeah, the self-discharging, which it's it's too pity, you know. I I I I so believed in this battery. I wanted it to have, be working, but it's just not working. And my advice is avoid this battery at all cost. You know, it's it's just not worth it. The Turnage batteries from Hobby King, the Turnage Graphins, they cost twice as much as this. But with graphene's, I never had problems. Oh, I had once one problems with graphene. It arrived this balance with this dead cells. The Hobby King didn't have problem to refund me, to give me full refund, for without any hassle. So it's it's so worth it to pay, despite you are paying the double. At least you are getting. Great batteries. The Tornage Graphins are great batteries. This time I chipped out. I bought this cheap garbage. <laughs> so save your money. Don't buy this because in the end, since I have three of them and I didn't even get full refund for neither of them, you know, forty dollars for this one, zero dollars on this one. Um, the amount of money I paid for this was 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 even more than for one tonnage graphene so in the end the graphene's are cheaper so my advice is don't buy this garbage okay that's all bye